Valve kind of stepped in and said, if you have any hardware assisted movement or shooting mechanics in the game, let's say something like the new snap tap that is available from some of the newer keyboards, or maybe you have some key binds that maybe helps you with the jump throws and stuff like that. Well, Valve just said no. They will now kick you from a match if they detect any hardware inputs that kind of assist you with movement or shooting mechanics, which is a very good thing and hear me out. This is why. Not everybody has access to stuff like hardware assistant movement or shooting mechanics, so it kind of makes it an unfair gameplay advantage for those people. So Valve kind of just said, you know what, we need to level the playing field a little bit and give everybody the same like kind of access, right? And it's a good thing because now newer and like more veteran players will be have kind of like the same level of access to the game. And at the end of the day, it doesn't matter if we get like angry at it. I mean, we say like, yeah, Valve, but now you're breaking this about the game or that about the game. At the end of the day, this this is their game. Like we're the players, they have to kind of service us, but it's their game. And they said, this is not where we stand for. This is not what we want to do. And this is the way we want to move forward. Now you might be angry at that, but it doesn't really matter. Like, I don't, I don't mean to be rude, but it doesn't really matter. There's still about 2 million people, concurrent players playing the game. So a lot more people will play the game as is than people leaving the game because of some hardware assisted movements or shooting mechanics. That isn't the biggest thing that changed. Something that they kind of just threw in there but didn't really talk about or expand on is the fact that they're testing out VACnet 3.0, which means VAC Live is getting an update or well, already got an update technically. And I have been seeing some of the fruits of that labor very, very quickly. Like the moment the update released, I wanna say about a few hours later, not even a few hours, people started to get banned from my games. I saw one person in the last month that I played against, he already got banned. I didn't even know he was hacking. They even lost the match. So he either started hacking after that or before that, but either way, he already got banned. And there might be more instances where people might get like banned, even though they're not hacking, but the Valve will probably fix that as like with all the ban waves. But the good thing is that they are actively working on the anti-cheat. Now, for those of you who don't really know how the anti-cheat actually works, like just a quick overview. Yeah, it will be live and yeah, they are trying to detect people live and banning people while they play the game. But the ban waves itself is something that happens because they want to ban a bunch of people together so that the cheat developers can't like instantly update the cheats to work on the game again that is just another way of combating the game now if next time you just you know say well this person is hacking maybe just think about the fact what they're doing like they might just be having a good day they might have more frames per second than you they might have a better monitor than you they might just be better than you I have seen a lot of cases where people just pre-aim and pre-shoot specific spots common spots and then when the person dies, they're like, yeah, well, this person's hacking. How did they know I was there? And I'm like, well, I mean, it's, it's a common spot. Like I would have pre-shooted there probably, maybe, I don't know. In any case, they did another update after this one. I just had to like get that out of the way quickly. They added the music kit to the game, which is kind of cool. And then they added something else. With the HUD, they did some minor style adjustments, apparently, which is kind of cool. And then they fixed the case where the audio input was garbled due to running on efficiency CPU cores. Which I didn't know was a problem. Did any of you guys notice that? Let me know in the comment section down below. And then with that, they reduced the amount of performance stutter at end of round time, which yet again, I didn't know existed. But I guess that's kind of a problem. So they are working on the, like, the performance of the game and stuff. Just don't worry. You have to think about the fact that even though Valve is a multi-billion dollar company, there's still like a fraction of the size that the team itself is like a fraction of the size than triple A companies like EA or Bethesda or, you know, Activision, all those companies. Like they are really, really small compared to companies like that. So just give them a break. They are working on like multiple games at the same time with multiple departments. Just they have Dota, they have Counter-Strike, they have Half-Life, they have Deadlock, their new game. Like there's so many games releasing and getting worked on and getting updated just 
it takes time. Everything takes time. If you guys want to see some other cool Counter-Strike Global Offensive content, go check out the video on the screen. And if you want to see some Deadlock videos and discussions about Deadlock, go check out the other video, right? With that being said, got one question for all of you. Do you want to play?